Hey guys, it's Ian and today I want to talk about the, the Speciali. Now, I think that obviously one of its key features are its looks. The 458 was already an extremely good looking car and as a consequence of that it had a great base. It was quite soft and rounded and although a beautiful looker maybe just lacked the slight hard hard nosed edge that I feel they've given to the Speciali. Now as you know the differences are at the rear a completely redesigned rear diffuser exhaust system that is completely new to the Speciali the 458 had three exhausts in the center and it lends an incredible aggressive stance to the car. We have had this car on track and really that is its natural habitat but it gives us the opportunity to just take in the looks obviously set off by 20 inch lightweight alloys which are completely unique to the Speciali and these brakes are straight from the La Ferrari and they're absolutely huge the view you get through the lightweight glass at the rear of the engine is absolutely superb and I just think that is a, an extraordinarily good looking engine compartment most of which is on display through the glass for everybody to see. This is a 4.5 V8 naturally aspirated engine and although having had the California quite recently to evaluate I have to say the twin turbo installation is extremely good I don't think you'll ever get better than the naturally aspirated when you're on a track and this this engine revs to 9000 revs so the noise that it makes is is just incredible it, it the hairs on the back of your neck stand up it's really fantastic Now I've always rated the uh, California T with HS pack, which is the handling speciale pack. I think it's a particularly good looking car and it's a great size, you know, it's very compact. I uh, had it up in London yesterday and it was um, very easy to thread through the lanes, enjoyed driving it in town, lovely exhaust note, the exhaust sounds absolutely fantastic. And you know, generally for everyday use, it's a fantastic companion. Now you're probably very familiar with the California shape because it's been a, around a while initially in naturally aspirated guys and just recently they brought in the the twin turbo or say just recently a few years ago now and this is the first uprated version of the twin turbos which is essentially the same engine producing 565 brake horsepower but it also has the addition of a, a handling pack to stiffen the suspension slightly um, makes it a little bit more rigid but basically we like that as you can see the um, the car looks extremely purposeful it has the diamond finished alloys uh, with the red calipers and the cars in black now the really really exciting thing about this car for me is it's a convertible do you know, yesterday, in amongst all the, the thunderstorms, we managed to have the roof down all the way up to London. And, oh my goodness, that is really, really pleasurable experience. I love, love travelling with the roof down. Today we'll take it out a little bit further and go down into deepest Sussex so that'll give it a, a bigger test in terms of its handling capabilities. Obviously London is not ideal in terms of getting up to any type of speed 
Now the car that we had prior to the Speciali was a um, uh, an absolutely gorgeous Le Mans blue Ferrari FF and that did the London journey brilliantly if not maybe just a little bit big for fitting and slotting into your average car space it's quite a large car the Ferrari FF but then on the other hand of course it's a full four-seater now this isn't a full four-seater it has the benefit of being able to put kids in the back which I'll show you if we come into the car you can see that it has rear child seats but in truth probably not much more than that and I know a lot of people will use the rear seats for additional soft luggage but you know when you when you take that into account this makes a, a great long-term cruiser this is a racing steering wheel you have your Manatino as usual on the right hand side it's all cloth clothed in um, carbon fiber you have your wipers and your light buttons you've got your bumpy road and your engine start and it's it it makes you feel like you're you're in a racing car because you're able to touch and alter some of the statistics and some of the characteristics rather of the car from from the steering wheel Moving to the inside of the Speciali, you can see that it's very driver focused. We have the carbon fibre racing seats. The driving position in this is absolutely phenomenal. The, the, the car is absolutely set up to be driven fast, either on the road or on a circuit. And all the controls are within reach. Now, as I, th I have mentioned before, we have the full racing harness. So that's perfect for the for the track and actually in this particular car not a particularly big disadvantage when you're driving it on the on the road the california unadorned with wings which um i do like i mean again you might think that's a little hypocritical given the gt4 has a huge wing but the GT4 is essentially a track car. I mean, this is a, a road car first and foremost. But now with the handling Speciale pack, it's going to be extremely good on the track, I imagine. So hi guys, um, we've got both cars in the drive and um, they do look pretty tremendous together. But the first thing that you can say is you do notice the different roles immediately that they're designed for. You can see how wide the uh, Speciale is and that's necessary I guess to provide stability at high speeds and through the corners on, on a track. Um, the California has been very much built for everyday use, so it's a good size, easily threadable through the streets of London and narrow country lanes, I imagine. Yeah, I think, although the, the Speciale is based on the 458, you are always aware of the size of the car. So once you're punting it, of course, it does, it does get much smaller around you, a, a trick that the FF pulled off extremely well. Um, big car though that was when you were really going for it 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 seemed to just um, it seemed to just get smaller and it was easy to, to thread and the speciality is the same but if you're on a narrow country lane and there's a, a big lorry coming the other way you you're aware of the fact that the the speciality is is a wide car you can see you have the the air intakes in the uh, in the front here whereas um, before on the previous non-turbo, naturally aspirated California, you had the scoop right in the middle of the bonnet and it was forward facing. These are very slightly rearward facing, but they lend a, a very purposeful stance to the, to the car. Which brings me neatly on, I guess, to, to the turbo installation on the California, which, I mean, is 
probably the best turbo installation on a car I have ever experienced. There is no lag. You are unaware of the fact that this car is not naturally aspirated and actually has forced induction. It, it really is absolutely amazing. There's even from low revs, it's it spools up instantly, just like a naturally aspirated machine. taking some outside shots of the park case so that will be um, quite exciting the roads are just a little bit damp but not too bad and um, it's quite exciting actually I'm quite looking forward to it Well hi guys, we've come down to Midhurst to give the car a run through the, the country lanes. So it is quite a serious sports car this and I think that it can be sold as one of their more relaxed machines but as I think I said to you this morning this has the HS pack which is the handling speciale pack so it stiffened the suspension slightly, reduces the roll and my goodness me it is a serious sports car quite a firm suspension but you have always have the bumpy road button and um, as a consequence of that you know it, it handles brilliantly so we're gonna sort of go on our way and we'll take a little bit uh, a little bit of footage on the way back to uh, to sorry I do I mean I really I'm really quite um, enamored with this car it really is it's a lovely driving machine and I'd always had a perception it's the first time I've ever driven the, uh, the spent sorry the, I've driven the California and I'd always had a perception with the California that it was a much softer Ferrari well this car is not a soft car it really really does handle well and it's nice inside so I mean you could go a long distance in this car which is always always helpful it's got uh, it's specified with the the carbon fiber options so you've got carbon fiber on the dash and you've got carbon fiber on the on the center console um, rev counter is right in the center right in front of you also displays which gear you're in and then down on the center console here we've got the uh, the infotainment center as i call it but that incorporates the sat nav your music you've got apple carplay I think I did actually mention this morning. So now we're going to focus a little bit on the drive itself. You can feel the, the, the torque. The thing about the turbo engine that absolutely astonishes me is the amount of torque you've got in it. It's just incredible. But, you know, you can feel, you can probably also hopefully get a sense of the fact there's no pitching on the, on the cornering here. It's just really on rails. It's quite a, it's quite a, a tight section. There's been a little bit of a landslide, so I had to slow down slightly. But you know, it's got a lovely, lovely feel to it. You really feel that the roads are very slightly damp, but if they were completely dry, you'd really be able to shoot around here if the speed limit allowed for it. We're just coming up to the back of a, an Aston Martin V8 convertible. Very smart car. Anyway, I hope that, that gives you a, a, a slight impression of what the car's capable of. Um, I definitely recommend this. I mean, this car is just, just stonking. Now the only proviso perhaps is it doesn't do quiet. Um, it does quiet on the motorway but when you're in London like we were last night you are accompanied by the exhaust note the whole time and I like that and I think most people with uh, red blood in their veins that uh, are true petrol heads will like that too. But my goodness me, those people buy Ferraris don't they? Okay guys.